motorists are facing treacherous road conditions after snow turned to ice across parts of the UK. Hundreds of schools across England and Wales are closed on Monday as the wintry conditions persist, and there is some disruption to flights. More than 140,000 homes lost power on Sunday amid heavy snow and high winds, and several thousand remain cut off. Temperatures dropped to as low as 12 C, 10 F, overnight, at Chillingham Barns in Northumberland. The Met Office has issued yellow weather warnings of snow and ice for Wales, Northern Ireland, parts of Scotland, the Midlands and southeast of England, which continue into Tuesday. There is a risk of up to 5 centimetres, 2 inches, of additional snow on higher ground in Kent, Sussex, Surrey, and Hampshire, but it is not expected to settle at lower levels. BBC weather forecaster Steve Cleeton said hazardous conditions would continue in the coming days, although snowfall would be less than that seen at the weekend. A perishingly cold night is expected as we move through Monday evening into Tuesday, with another widespread and severe frost, and temperatures plummeting to below 10 C across any snowfields, he said. The RAC has predicted 11,000 breakdowns on Monday, which is 20 per cent higher than the seasonal norm. This follows the AA reporting a 40 per cent increase in call outs on Sunday after up to 30 centimeters of snow coated parts of the country. AA President Edmund King said he witnessed numerous crashes on Sunday as drivers were caught out by the icy conditions. Drivers do need to adjust more to the conditions by slowing down and keeping a good distance, he said. Winter tyres also help drivers to keep a grip journeys will take two to three times longer. It's going to be treacherous driving conditions, Pete Williams, the RAC's road safety spokesman, added. National Rail said travellers should check with their train operators before heading out. In Calais, hundreds of Eurotunnel passengers faced a cold wait as services to the UK were delayed overnight. The company said the wait was five hours, but some on social media said they had waited much longer. Eurotunnel says services are now back to normal, although weather conditions remain very challenging. P and O Ferries is reporting delays on some sailings of up to 90 minutes due to bad weather and the knock-on effect of yesterday's grounding of a ship in Calais. Airports have also been affected, with dozens of flights cancelled from Heathrow on Monday after crews and aircraft were left out of position by Sunday's problems.
passengers are being advised to check their flight status before they set off for the airport. BA said additional staff were rebooking customers onto the next available flights and offering hotel accommodation. Meanwhile, thousands of homes were left without power after being hit by the weather. Western Power Distribution said 99,500 customers were cut off on Sunday across the East Midlands, South Wales and the South West. By Monday morning, 6,500 homes were still without power. Scottish and Southern Electricity Networks also said they had brought power back to 48,000 homes, but 800 remained cut off in Oxford and Wiltshire on Monday. More than 400 schools are closed in Wales and in Birmingham. The City Council has shut all of its local authority run schools. Buckinghamshire County Council and Shropshire Council said the majority of their schools will shut down, 250 are closed in Gloucestershire, and there are widespread closures in Denbyshire, Worcestershire, Warwickshire, Oxfordshire, and Northamptonshire. Get news from the BBC in your inbox, each weekday morning have you experienced any disruption? Please share your experiences with us by emailing have a say at the BBC. Co.uk. Please include a contact number if you are willing to speak to a BBC journalist.